Today's Captain's Blog is made possible by a grant from Eric Snurthammer, who secretly wishes all of you a happy, wonderful day before he eats your children. Have fun! Hello right, guys, welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It's 11.59 hours on Friday, August 26, 2016. And the boys are rocking the saw. Now if the air's coming in, there should be a spot where oil is coming in. I know how to fix this. Mm. I just put all new seals in the piston, that's what I'm... Okay. Do you got any more tubing that size? You got a T that'll fit it, like one of those? To bleed out air. Yeah, that's what what I'd do what I is I'd put a T here with a, with a piece of tubing on it, like a tall piece of tubing, maybe a little container, put fluid in it, and the air will all end up in the thing, and you put some oil in there, and the oil will fill the rest of the thing. Because you got bubbles. Yeah, I'm well aware I got bubbles. The mm -hmm. thing is, though, is we just had everything filled up not looking like it had bubbles, and he actuated it, and I got a bunch of air bubbles. Well, there's going to be air in the cylinder. I'm sure it's On both sides, it's a double acting cylinder. Yeah. I'm just paranoid because I don't know if the seals work or not. We just rebuilt the cylinder. Well, it shouldn't matter if the seals work for it to leak air, like the seals in the cylinder, because if you do it right, there should be oil on both sides of the piston. Like right now, the piston's at the bottom, so this whole area should be full of oil. Right. And when it's up, the whole bottom should be filled with oil. And if the seal doesn't work, the piston will move because it won't be resisting oil as much. But it won't be letting air in. If you're letting air in, this, that, this, or that have to be leaking air. That's what I thought. That's what yeah, I thought. It, it can't be the, so the, it can't be the, the, the piston oil. seals. We just haven't gotten all the air. Yeah. I might have it. Yeah. Engineering. As we were doing it, I was like, I Do you need a chair? Would you like a damn chair? Come get a chair. I have more than I know what to do with. I don't know why, but like, man. If I could get like $20 bills donated like I can get office chairs, I'd be set. It's a beautiful day outside. I want to go outside and play. I'll be back. Put the snub around the thing and it didn't snub. Did it explode the and snub? It, no. It was just inadequate you've snub. Been, you've been snubbed? So snubbers in parallel maybe? I don't know. Talk to Kidwell. He, he deals with this right, a lot. You ready? Do it. <laughs> ah, I looked right at it. <laughs> that can't be good. So ah. that one is arcing out trying to close the next one. Trying to close that one. We had it on this one. Well, it's, it's Jesus, fuck, fucking. That was kind of cool. Fuck. <laughs> oh, the screw's all black. Yeah. Don't look at it this time. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't look at that. <laughs> you got, you got some issues there. Yeah, now it's all burned up. So maybe yeah, you just put a solid fun. state relay. In between the <laughs> That's not the solution to the problem. The solution to the problem is the little blue snubbers. Well, that not for nothing. Work. Here's here's a question I have. Yeah. What's the current limit here, and what's the current requirement here? Probably, probably a small number and a big number. That's that's what I'm guessing. I think that's um, your problem. But that will be mitigated once we get into this section, because so then it's gonna step big down. one controlling a big one controlling right, a big so one. So disconnect a big that one. from here and put it down to something... So I have an odd feeling that those might be able to control these without bursting into flames, and that these might actually be crappier than those because they're, um, they're, they're I think crappier you're right. than those. I think you're right. I think these are designed for signaling and switching, whereas these are designed for and actuation. The other thing is we have a furnace, 
yeah. one. Yeah. That this is probably a little more chuchy than. Oh yeah, these so are these are probably really lucky. This might get integrated. What, what are the contact readings? Not enough. Obviously. Uh, Say so these are rated for 60 amps. Yeah, these will these will take it no problem. The label is an auxiliary relay, relay so I don't know if they're. Okay. Uh... So start here. Go to these, then to these. Cool. But these ones are louder. You know what I just noticed? Mm. It's a bit troubling. Those words. Mm -hmm. Oh, that they're rated DC? 32, 125. 125, 125, 125, 125. This one's DC. 125, 125, 32, 32. Oh, maybe you should put a 125 there instead you of should, 32. You volt. should mess with that. So how are you two gentlemen doing on the hydraulic farm? Um, we're done for now. With the spring on it, it doesn't piss as much oil, but there's not... Show we don't have anything in stock that works. Okay. Um, I emailed the company. They still do... Well, it's Carolina saws now. Okay. I'm trying to get a price on it, and we'll see how bad it is. I read some forums. He was like, yeah, it's like 100 bucks, which... Ask nice. Tell them who you are, where you work. They might donate it. Send me the contact info and the part number, and I'll call them. I, I just... But it stops, and with the spring on, it's not putting as much stress on here, so it's not pissing as much oil. As soon as there's stress on this, though, let me see something here. So as long as the spring's on, there's your problem. Yeah, I know. the The tube is kind of fucked. This Wait, right we here. might actually be able to replace well, this tube. Did you see this? Yeah, I'm well aware. I've disassembled it and reassembled it, and okay. I'm hoping that I might be able to make a new tube. But for now, it, it's working. There's my knob. Oh, it's polishing now. Polishing my knob. Is there a flat or do I have to try and go through that hole? You go through that hole. Oh. So you done fucked it up by turning it. Yep. Nope, I missed. Don't mind me. level of excitement here today. So the, the question I have yeah. is the power for the last relay still comes through the first relay, doesn't it? No. No? You've broken them hey. into sections? Yeah, it's in chunks. Okay. So like, all of these are in series. Um, but they'll be broken before and after that. So it's probably going to be like one bank. Well, actually, one bank, two bank, three bank. This might get split here. So it's two banks, one bank, one bank. Okay. Cool. It'll be all right. Semblance of manhood. Time is 2245 hours, and have we got something to show you. Sam! Ah! Give him a tour and show him ah! what you've done! It's the Aero Lab. We did things to it. It's completely different down here. It's it's relatively clean and completely reorganized. And and Jerry's down here. So I've got being peach a manly pie, man. And Sam has pineapple strawberry. Pineapple strawberry. It's it's. And Mitch has Dale's pale ale. Dale's pale ale. Okay, you just keep drinking that till you can't say it anymore, or it just gets too funny to say, and then you're there. Yeah. You might want to give Irish wristwatch a try. <laughs> <laughs> so, you want to give him a little tour down here real quick? Sure. So, most of this area has stayed about the same. We've consolidated and uh, tidied things up a little bit. And you'll recall that we had a wall of benches across this side and a bench in the center. So, we decided that individual work areas might be nice so that one person set up here, one there, you know, project based. Okay. 
Um, beyond that, we've reduced the number of computers because we weren't using all of them. And really, we need one simulation station and one quad programming avionics station, and we're right. set. Yeah. And two even might be overkill, but we had a table that was the right size for it. Might as well keep it at two for now. Okay. Um, we have a bench over there that we haven't quite decided what that will be, but I'm sure we will use the space. Okay. At some point, we are planning to bring in a few more shelves, just for bits and pieces of things. But for now, we're giving it a try. Excellent. This is definitely a significant improvement. All right. That's today's captain's blog. Lots of cleaning. Lots of just fixing, tidying, cleaning. Yeah. So, you guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden, and you're not. That's Sam. That's Mitch. Focus! There. That's Jerry. <laughs> and that's, that's how you get more quads. Today's Captain's Blog is made possible by a grant from Eric Snurthammer, who secretly wishes all of you a happy, wonderful day before he eats your children. Have fun!